Hello guys, welcome to another Jira administration tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, I'll cover uh, installation of Atlassian Crowd, which is a single sign-on and um, centralized identity management solution from Atlassian. Uh, with Crowd, you can manage users from multiple directories like LDAP, OpenLDAP, uh, Microsoft Active Directory, etc. And then you can configure your um, single sign-on for all the uh, applications in your enterprise organization. Now, why am I covering crowd installation um, in this tutorial series is because I want to show you how you can integrate crowd or any other LDAP um, management server uh, in your organization with the Atlassian Jira and then how you can manage users and groups within Atlassian Jira. So this is sort of prerequisite to cover that integration part. And that's why I'm covering the installation of Crowd, which is uh, basically available free for 30 days from Atlassian. And you can install it and then play around uh, creating the users and group in Crowd and then integrate those uh, the Crowd with the Atlassian uh, Jira uh, and then uh, pull those users within the Jira application. So that's the whole purpose of um, demoing or showcasing you the, the crowd installation. So to install crowd, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Just go to the Google and just say download Atlassian crowd and click on download crowd um, link. Uh, so on the Atlassian, you can see you will be, um, it will be available for free for 30 days if it is a server version. So my, um, Desktop is uh, OS, uh, OS X, so um, it's already selected that. If it is your, you know, like Windows or um, you just select the zip archive or uh, if it is a Linux, you select the tar. Um, and then download this archive and unzip it in a, you know, convenient location. Once you unzip the downloaded installer uh, and you unzip it, so I have unzipped it here. Uh, in my downloads folder so if you open this you'll see different options or different uh, files within this folder now what i'll do is you just simply have to do a little bit of config changes if it is evaluation purpose because you don't have to configure or install your own database uh, there is a built-in database um, for evaluation purpose in crowd already so you just have to configure the home directory and start crowd so let's see um, before we configure the home directory Let's go ahead and uh, try to start the crowd server and see how um, it, it progresses. So at the moment, I am in Atlassian crowd. So let's um, say start crowd.sh and Tomcat got started and then I'll um, so crowd is starting now. Let's see, uh, try accessing it. In the browser and see what's the progress let me minimize all the windows so i have started the crowd server already and if you go to the documentation page of atlassian crowd it you will get all the details that are required to configure crowd so uh, getting started with crowd link that you see here on my screen so if you go and follow the steps so you you will get installing crowd for windows mac and linux or unix so there is not much difference as such you just have to uh, basically update uh, the files or any dot crowd any dot properties file in um, in windows uh, and say where your home directory is in on windows and similarly if it is mac or linux you have to uh, go to the crowd any dot properties in the in the crowd home directory and see where your home um, directory or crowd home directory is once you do that so um, uh, at the moment i haven't provided the home directory and i want to show you how it will appear in case the home directory is not mentioned and what error will appear so once you have started the crowd so we have done already uh, started crowd dot shell file and since this is a evaluation uh, purpose so hsq uh, hsqldb is already um, uh, you know like packaged in this instance so we don't need to install any external database we just have to start and let's try accessing the url 
so if you just go to this url you will be able to access so that's the port on which this server crowd server starts by default and so now you can see that the crowd is up and running but there is some issue so what is the issue crowd home directory right and now it will show you where you need to update the properties right so it, it gave me the whole location uh, where i need to update the properties file uh, and mention the crowd home directory right so what is crowd home directory if it is a linux machine or windows machine it doesn't matter it's just a directory that you need to create and provide the location in crowd hyphen init dot properties file okay so let's go to this location and open uh, this location so if you just go to this so we are in the atlassian crowd 350 already and then crowd uh, web app that's this particular folder i'll open this and then web inf and then below web inf you have classes and here you have crowd init dot properties just open it in any text editor i'll open in sublime text and here you will see crowd dot home that's commented at the moment uncomment that and provide the location of the folder which will be your crowd home directory so what i'll do is i'll go back to the downloads folder like similar like confluence home folder what i'll do is i'll create a new folder and i'll say crowd home all right now what we'll do is we'll simply uh, just go to this location so in the terminal let me uh, go to this terminal I'll clear and then see we are already in the crowd folder we'll go back and then list the files there so crowd home is there we'll go to crowd home and then we'll copy this location So I copied this location and provide this location in this file and then simply save this file okay so now I have saved crowd in it dot properties so these details should be already saved now what you need to do is you need to go back and stop the crowd server and restart it okay so we'll go back and then go back to atlassian crowd and stop the crowd server so once the server is stopped we'll again start the crowd server and after the server is started again we'll reload this page and see whether this crowd home directory error has gone and we can progress with our configuration so once uh, the server has been restarted again let's go to this location so uh, localhost uh, colon 8095 slash crowd and see we are on the license page now so that means the crowd home directory has been set up all the prerequisites have been configured and now we have to get the evaluation license and provide the license key here so what you can do is you can simply access your license key on my atlassian so once you get uh, uh, or create your account on my Atlassian and get your license key, simply copy that and paste in uh, the, the box here. And you might be required for the server ID. So that's this is the server ID while creating your evaluation license that you have to provide in, in your my Atlassian account. So 
this is pretty straightforward if you click on my.atlassian.com you can register and get all your evaluation license from there once you have the license key click on uh, continue and then it will ask whether you know like it's a new installation or import data from the uh, XML backup if, if it is a, it was an existing installation so it's a new installation I'll keep that to default and click on continue and this will start the setup of the crowd right so at the moment you can see it's a evaluation version you don't need to set up any of the external database however if you are installing crowd in your organization and it's for the production purposes you have to uh, set up the database and the connectivity uh, jdbc connectivity with your database as well at the moment we are evaluating we'll just keep it as embedded database and click continue so that it gets configured automatically and we don't have to do anything else so installation um, as such won't differ much it doesn't matter whether it's your windows machine or linux machine or mac os it's pretty straightforward similar steps the only difference would be the location of the home directory or the file um, uh, where you need to update uh, the home directory so in windows it will be a bit you know like a different location as such and in mac os and linux it will be pretty similar and the only thing you have to do is just download crowd unzip it and start the server um, and configure the the crowd home directory and follow the steps to get the evaluation license and configure crowd so once the crowd database has been configured it will redirect you to the options page wherein you can provide the deployment title session timeout and base url and click continue it will start the configuration further um, and then you can provide other uh, details for the internal directory setup etc so this will this will be the uh, crowd internal directory which will which we will cover in the next tutorial thank you very much for watching the crowd installation tutorial please do share and subscribe